In this video, I want to show you how to print and scan using your Mac computer and your brother MFCJ1360DW. So the first thing is to connect both of these devices together. And this is done by connecting the brother printer to the same Wi-Fi network as your Mac is currently connected to. So let's go on the control panel over here. I'll show you how step number one is done. You're going to press once on this Wi-Fi button. Then you're going to select Find Wi-Fi Network and press OK. You may have to press the right side arrow to enable the Wi-Fi if it was not already enabled. Now you're going to have a few Wi-Fi networks presented to you. You can navigate using the up and down arrow. Select your Wi-Fi network in blue and press OK. Now it's time to type the password of your Wi-Fi. If your password has capital letters, you need to go on the lower left side, press OK, and everything will change to capital letters. If you have numbers, in that case, you need to select this icon over here, and it will switch to numbers. Press again, and it will switch to symbols. Now, once you have typed the password, go ahead and select OK and press OK as well. You're going to get connected. Now, on your Mac computer, you do not need to install any software. Everything is done automatically. So you're going to go and click on the Apple logo on the top left corner and then select System Settings. On the left side menu over here, you're going to go down and select Printers and Scanners. And on the right side menu, go all the way down and select Add Printer, Scanner or Fax. You may have to enter the username and the password of this Mac. Then you're going to get this display where you have to select your brother MFCJ1360DW. Make sure you click on it and it's selected in the color blue. Then click the add button. The driver will be installed. And right now, here we go, the printer is connected to the Mac right over here. Open any files you wish to print. So in my case, I'll open this photo. You're going to go on the top right corner of your Mac and select File. And then go down and select Print. Make sure that under Printer, your brother printer is the one selected. And you're going to have a few options you can change, including the number of copies. Do you want to print in color or black and white? Do you want to print on both sides of the paper? Anyway, you have multiple options, including also your paper size and other stuff. All right. Now, if you want to print borderless at this point, what you need to do is where you see paper size, click on the paper size over here and make sure that you see over here, US letter size, you select US letter borderless and says instead of US letter only. So that's how you see your print will be without any sorts of borders. Also, you can click on fill entire paper if your um, photo is not already filling the whole paper. Now, if you go down and you select media and quality, where you see paper type, make sure you have selected the right paper. So in my case, I'm printing on plain paper, so I'll select plain paper. But if you have glossy paper, don't forget to select photo glossy. It will make a huge difference. Finally, you have quality. If you're printing pictures, select best. If you're printing text with some small pictures, normal will be enough, but best will give you the most details. As it says, it will also take more time to print. So if you're patient and you want the best result, always select best and then click on print. The print is launched. And since this is a full page picture, it may take a bit of time. All right. So I'll put the camera over here and I will come back when this is done printing so I can show you how to use the scanner and get the results directly on your Mac computer. All right, so we got our result right over here. You see borderless and it looks great. Now, as I said, let me show you how to scan a document. 
So this printer has two different scanners, as you know. There's a top document feeder, an automatic document feeder, that can take up to 20 pages at the same time, and a basic, basic scanner. Let me show you how to put paper in both of these, and then I'll go on the Mac. So if you want to use the basic scanner, take your document and you're going to place it facing down with the top part of your document towards the left side. Now you simply have to make sure that the corner of your document touches the top left corner of the scanner. So bring them both together over here towards this corner. And then you can simply close the lid. If you're going to use the automatic document feeder, Make sure these uh, tabs are extended fully, okay? Push them towards the extremity. Take your documents. If you have a stack of paper, align them and make sure they don't have any staples. And you're gonna place them the same way, facing down with the top part of the document towards the left side. And you're gonna glide it under these two tabs over here. You can also extend this, okay? Just like that. This is how you place the paper. You don't have to push it completely. This is enough. On the Mac computer, if you want to scan, you don't need to download anything again. Simply go on the top right corner where you see the magnifying glass and write capture. You need to open the image capture app that comes included with your Mac. You don't have to download that thing, okay? Click on image capture, and then select on the left side your broader printer, MFC J1360DW. Let's make this window a bit bigger so we see better. And you're gonna get a preview of what's on the scan lid. Currently, if you remember, I took the paper from here and we have put it in the top document feeder. If you have put some documents on the top, you will not get the preview. It will be white. And this is fine because this is not saved on your computer at this point. We need to check the small settings over here on the right side. So where you see scan mode, select which kind of scanner you're going to use. In our case, it's the document feeder. So I'll select document feeder. Then. Under kind, select if you want to scan in black and white or color. Then we have resolution. You have multiple options. If you're going to scan pictures or anything that you want the most details in your scan and you don't care if it will take a minute or two to scan, well, select 600 dpi. If you're simply scanning text or any basic documents or out there, 200 is enough. Leave it like that. Select your document size. And finally, you need to choose where do you want the scan to go on your Mac. So select the folder. I have selected desktop, but it could be any folder on your um, uh, computer. Now over here, you can give this a name, any names you, you wish. So let's say um, Worksheet 67. And if you're going to have multiple pages, you're going to scan over here and you want to combine them in one single PDF document, you're going to select PDF over here and don't forget to check combine into single document. If you want this to be a JPEG or any other format, you can also choose that. But obviously each page will be their own file. They won't be combined. At the end, press the scan button and wait. As you see, the scanner starts taking the page. There's only one, so it'll be quick. It will come out over here. And at the end, the result will appear on the desktop because this is where I choose to go. Here we go. It's right over here. I can open it, inspect it, and this is about it. Thanks for watching. If you found my tutorial helpful, please take a moment and comment down below. If you want to get some ink for your broader printer, this model in particular, I'll put links in the description towards Amazon. Same thing if you want to get photo paper or plain paper, I'll put other links and this way you support my channel. Thanks and I'll see you in the next video.